Johnny. Do you want to go to an ice cream social? Yeah, I'd love to. Great, let's go. It's time for another episode of Matt and Mattingly's Ice Cream Social. Sitting across from me is Paul Mattingly. Across from me, it's Mr. Matt Donnelly. And on the knobs and dials, take up the audio guy. That's right. We're preaching fun. Um, Good timing. On it. <laughs> Expertise. He's the king. Uh, I had my uh, my uh, uh, my brother-in-law. Has no kids. Yeah. Rookie mistake. Uh, they're in charge of watching the kids while Sarah and I go to work the other night. How's yep. he going to know? Well, no, I mean, that that's not the rookie mistake. Oh, okay. I haven't gotten He that made a yet. rookie mistake. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I come Did home. Did you give him trunk pizza? I come home and uh, I, do you want to start there? We can start there. <laughs> that was my second topic. <laughs> we'll just go, we'll no, go there. No, no, okay. Yeah, you almost murdered us. So that's it, right? So I want a <laughs> mea culpa, right? I really thought you had just had that in the trunk for like an hour or two. <laughs> so, so last week, if you I had no idea it was an overnight pizza. <laughs> overnight week, pizza. Last week, I, I buried the lead. We were Woo. making fun of Papa Murphy's pizza, and the real story is I try to murder suicide on everybody I work with. Yep. <laughs> and uh, it has not gone well on Twitter. <laughs> it, it should it's not. It's yeah. not gone well for Mister Donnelly. Um. I uh, I bought a pizza in the state of my trunk overnight that I brought in, cooked it, thinking that mattered, but it, it does not matter. Uh, so apologies first and foremost to Papa Murphy's Pizza, <laughs> 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 we ripped on them last week, and uh, and then and then solely uh, like like a good like a good lawyer, everyone started to realize that the, the pizza wasn't purchased that day. The pizza was purchased. <laughs> The night before. <laughs> so it was first cooked in plastic oh. in my trunk. It wasn't cooked. It was rotted. No, no, no. Uh, uh, slow cooked. It fermented. Slow. It fermented. Aged, aged, yeah. aged in a heat box of my trunk. So gross. Cooked at 118 degrees. Yeah. For 17 hours before it was unwrapped from plastic with the, with the, with the gross stuff inside. So I... Um, slow cooker pizza. Uh, my 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 careless and carefree logic was well if we are gonna cook it at 450 degrees which it says on the thing that well no matter what it'll just kill whatever is happening in there yeah uh, m- thankfully kind of true kind yeah. of true no one died didn't eat enough of it uh it's, but 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 not true enough in that like something was still in it that made it taste absolutely <laughs> awful it was terrible <laughs> it tastes like medicine. I, um, it's bad. Yeah, uh, but at least it would have been weirder if I didn't take a bite. Also, I think if I yes. just let you guys eat it and it was terrible, and I just moved along, it, it would have been t- prosecutable. For <laughs> I a bite think so. Yeah, <laughs> I think I tried to kill everybody in the churn. Yeah, you get you get off through technicality. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, one factor I didn't think about at all that Twitter's most upset about is that I didn't know that Ninja loved pizza. Oh uh, yeah, and that and SJ the fact without that Ninja n- wouldn't eat it. Well, thank goodness Ninja wouldn't eat it. But right. if I had Ninja eaten it, I think I would be feeling way Ninja, terrible. Yeah, Ninja's smart. But that's the thing. Like Ninja Ninja didn't eat The dog knew not to eat this pizza. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, Dogs yeah, will yeah. eat a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah. My dog eats shit. My dog yeah, will eat poop. Lady Elizabeth, she digs around for cat turds yeah. to eat. And even that, like, it takes an, an, an amazing amount for it to be a vet-worthy experience. Right. So, like, their gut is built to, to process... Total I garbage. pulled pillow pillow stuffing out of <laughs> Princess Buttercup's anus <laughs> like a fucking magician. Yeah, I'm so it worked out. By that, Paul means he used an assistant. Well, they were gonna they were gonna do a surgery on her, and yeah. it's like no, let's see if it'll pass, and it it was passing, but I had to grab it and slowly pull the rest oh. of it out of her butt. That is a that is a memory. It is a memory. I saved that damn dog's <laughs> life. Do you do you miss doing that? Like, do you hope that? Oh, happens I miss to I dog? miss pulling stuff out of dogs' butts. <laughs> I don't do it nearly enough. 
it happens. It happens with not an infrequent amount of time. Like I mean, like because Anne's got long hair, and uh-huh. they get you know, and sometimes I just you know they got a turd dangling. I'm like, just come here. You got a yerk. Do you get a glove on? Oh yeah, I got a glove yeah, on. Yeah. I'm not going barehanded on that. No, action. no, yeah, yeah. I mean, a glove. It's a bag. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you yeah, bag yeah, that hand. Yeah, but I mean, it's not. You know, do you think if we bag hand? It's a once every seven eight months kind of thing. Okay, so you miss it then. No. Every two months, you're like, here's some hair. Oh, I wish some. I wish the dog would eat something stringy. <laughs> Come on, dogs, eat some more stringy shit. Do you think if we used gloved hands that the pizza would have been okay? No. Fuck that pizza. <laughs> that was awful. I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat today for Fourth of July because I can get a little wild because I don't. Have oh to yeah, go, we don't have uh, a show tonight. I have to shake my butt and worry yeah. about poop. Happy Fourth of July, even though everyone's listening to this on the Fifth of July. Yeah. Right. Happy 5th of July. Happy 5th of July. Have a 5th of July. Drink a whole 5th. <laughs> That's what most people do on the 4th. Drink a 5th of July. Yeah. Uh, so what do, you, what do you got going on? Are you, are you weighing your options? Uh, I'm probably just going to get some hot dogs. Living it up. Uh, what's, your, what's your brand? What's your go-to for hot dogs? Oh, uh, Ballpark. Ballpark, like ballpark Bun Length. Okay. Beef. Bun Length Beef Bun Ballpark. Bun Length Beef Ballpark. <laughs> just Paul loves alliteration, alliteration. <laughs> when it comes to the wieners. <laughs> Susical the Barbusical. Yeah. Ballpark bun link beep pranks. Ballpark bun link beep pranks. Ballpark bun link beep pranks. Um, <laughs> n- n- do you have a go to bun? Um, Aunt Hattie's potato. I was gonna say, are you a potato bun guy? Aunt oh, Hattie's yeah. potato. I like yeah. a potato hot dog bun. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Enriched. Second is the uh, uh, outside, like, toasterable. Sure, Bun, you know, like a lobster roll type of roll, or or the hard steamed, hard steamed. If you get if you got a steam a steamer for your buns, you can okay. use anything. Well, tell me about it. Oh, but the potato bun takes yeah. care of it like it's like it's pre steamed. It's a complimentary. Oh, I'll tell a good you, potato bun. I'll tell you what I did the other day mm-hmm. was I had fucking King's Hawaiian hot dog buns. Oh, Have see you now, done now, that? now no. you done fucked up. That's oh. crazy. I never game even heard changer, of that. Game changer, son. That a game changer. You can't go back now. I tell you, they cut it. It's it's a. Uh, it's, you've basically gone black. Just like you were talking about, <laughs> like the like lobster roll style. It's that style. King's Hawaiian hot dogs, the black cock of hot dogs. <laughs> they fucking <laughs> cut a slit in the top. Oh. Yeah. So you just put it right in the top. Oh. None of this side angle no. bullshit, falling apart garbage. Not a top part, delicious no. crispiness type of thing. It holds together. Perfectly. I'm, I think I've figured out what I'm eating today. I'm going to get me some <laughs> King's Hawaiian. Some ballpark bun leaf. That's legit. Beef Franks. Ballpark bun leaf. Beef, beef Franks. Well, speaking of commercials, uh, yesterday, for some reason, yeah. I'm in my kitchen, yeah. just farting around, I don't know, grabbing some water. Yeah. And from out of nowhere, the old Martini and Rossi wine jingle Hits me like a ton of bricks, and it tickles me pink. Really? Yes. It was on the television. No, you just thought it, of it in my brain. Just go. All of a sudden, I go, Martini and Rossi, Asti Spumanti. When you got good taste, it shows. <laughs> Martini and Rossi, Asti Spumanti. The celebration grows. I was like, that is the dumbest, and I love it. It's what is so the stupid. second line of it? Asti Spumanti. What is Asti Pum- Spumanti? It was mean? their Special wine that they were selling at that point. Asti Pumanti. Asti Spumanti. Martini and Rossi. Asti Spumanti. Do they just want waiters to spit on their tables? <laughs> yeah, they were like, would well, you like us my Martini and the Rossi Asti Spumanti? Asti Spumanti. Asti Spumanti. And I'm like, would I'm you like sure me to shower you with a wine suggestion? I'm sure it's a bullshit name that means like the river no. grape. I bet it goes back ages. <laughs> 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 But I don't know where Asi that Spumanti. fucking came Somewhere from. Somewhere in the Aspi Spumanti family is listening, and they're pissed at you for even. Oh, suggesting. they are so mad. The Martini and Rossi family. Yeah, well, the Aspi Spumantis don't give a fuck. I mean, isn't isn't that a type of grape? Jacob, Shouldn't, could you look it up, please? It would have to be a type of grape. Uh, no, it? I'm busy. All right, I'll look it up and play it because I want to hear it now. No, I don't want you to look up the. the I want to hear. It. Yeah, I want to hear it. I, I thought you were asking for the information, not no, the, the music. Song, no, song. no, you're not playing the fucking song. Why not? It's a commercial. I'll turn your mic off. No, no okay. <laughs> Before you hold your phone up to your microphone. But, but, Too but, late. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. Since we, uh, as, 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 a, as a former listener pointed out, we don't know shit about what we're talking about. Yes. But shouldn't it? That's why I'm using note for any of you on the fence about us being know-it-alls. I'm not saying 
Must be. Shouldn't there it be. is. Mart- the second thing to come up, Martini and Rossi, Asti Spumante. Asti Spumante. Shouldn't that be a grape? <laughs> Isn't Merlot a grape or Cabernet a grape? I don't know. I... Uh. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I, guys, the smile on Paul's face is unbelievable right now. It's amazing. I wanted to cut him off, but like nothing is making him happier. All right, there's no second verse. I don't so give a shit. So I, I, I <laughs> okay. don't know how it, it must be. It must have been on a videotape that I used to watch a lot as a kid, mm-hmm. like from a old recording of Star Wars or something yeah, from yeah. the TV. Yeah. Because that thing was just, that thing was buried deep, and I hadn't thought of it forever. And I was just I was I was laughing to myself. The voice on that is so white, and it dude, was written right? for a black voice. It's a, totally They're all like, of it. Celebration grows. The celebration grows. That's the other thing. It's like, who's celebrating? Yeah. What are they celebrating? And when when I you've see- got good taste, it shows. No. 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 <laughs> you might as well have some fucking Thunderbird. Nobody went to, even whenever this came out in the 80s, 1982, no one went, oh, Martini Rossi Aspi Peronti. I didn't realize that's such a fancy place. <laughs> Wait. You you brought me a bottle of Asti Spumante? <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't, I didn't I get mean, you fucking anything. I know. I mean, I know we're friends, but I didn't realize I was... An Aspi Spumani friend. Asti Spumanti. <laughs> Your good taste really shows. <laughs> Your good taste. And also like the celebration. You've got good taste. When I hear the, the celebration grows, you know what I picture? Like a fence separating a backyard like just spills over. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're so having too good having time. Two, two barbecues become one giant <laughs> barbecue? <laughs> exactly. That'd be like, awesome. Too much Aspiranti Spumanti. <laughs> is, uh, hey, too much. you guys got some Asti Spumanti over there? Fuck yeah, we do. Kaboom. We'll tear down this hat fucking fence. <laughs> Let's make the celebration grow. Asti Spumante Kool-Aid Man comes through. <laughs> I'm hammered. I've got good taste in the shows. <laughs> I didn't mean to break through your wall. I was trying to park in your driveway. <laughs> Asti Spumante. <laughs> I'm Esperanto Spumanto. Oh, hey, was that your daughter over there? <laughs> I asked these Spumante on her face. She's, she's making my celebration grow. <laughs> I tell, it totally grew and I spumante on her. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about your fence, your daughter, but look at this party. Martini and Rossi, Austin Spumante. I'll fuck anything that moves. And instead of it being a cooler of Kool-Aid, it's just a big jug of, uh, of uh, uh, sangria. <laughs> It's just a taller jug with like weird fruit hanging on the top. <laughs> he's a taller mug and he's got a wooden spoon stuck in him with a bunch of fruit. I'm crushing your party. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. I'm Spumani. Asti Spumani. <laughs> don't make me Asti Spumani up in here. I'll do it. That is right up there with artisanal bread. Ha! <laughs> Asti Spumante. Asti Spumante. This seems like such a reach. This seems like such I, a reach. Now, I do, I did, now I guess I got to look it up. I can't, I can't the be name. a grape. There cannot be a, an Asti Spumante grape. <laughs> no, I would hope not. But there, but What does that, Asti Spumante mean? We'll oh, find man. out. But anyway, I was just... I got myself tickled in the kitchen just thinking of that dumb commercial. Of course. Like, that is a tickling jam. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Why? Because I, I was just like, brain. Brain. Yeah. Why? <laughs> what are you doing, brain? Why? Brain, sit down. Yeah. Brain, let's have you a You are fucking drunk on Aussie Spumante. <laughs> Is this what you do with two days off? We're going back to work. <laughs> like, seriously? Uh, yeah, I don't know. The wife and I went to a really great Mexican restaurant yesterday yeah. from the afternoon called Matador. It's beautiful. In yeah. honor of the 4th of July. In honor of the 4th of July, I went to a Mexican restaurant. Okay. No, it was yesterday. It was 3rd of July. Well, tomorrow we're building a wall between that restaurant and the street. Well, you have to build it high and, and, and fancy because it was fancy. An Asti Spumante wall. <laughs> fancy wall. Where'd you go? Uh, Matador. Matador. It's That's a, a Spanish word for... For... Is mean to a bull. <laughs> <laughs> um, What'd you get? Uh, they have these street tacos. So we went during happy hour. Oh. And so you get like a plate of five different meat street tacos. Now you and Ann both don't drink, right? Ann drinks. Oh, she does. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, you, Anne's a lush. Oh, her yeah. Up. Oh, she. Oh, yeah. We went to the Tiki Bar Sunday night. <laughs> we hit Matador <laughs> yesterday. She is lit. No, but she she does enjoy a good martini or a cocktail, whatever. Um, I went a and martini got, and when, a when, cocktail. When does she become drunk, Anne, to you? What are the signs? Uh, Slurry. <laughs> okay. She gets a little slurry. Yeah. It takes a lot, though. Yeah. She's got high tolerance. Not as high as it used to be. Good. She used to be a party machine. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You shouldn't. No, exactly. Shouldn't maintain no. A, a huge tolerance. Wait, you shouldn't? So you got street tacos? Jacob, I'm You sorry. can apparently still buy Martini and Rossi Asti Spumante. Do you want to guess? Do you have to say the whole name every time? <laughs> Do you want to guess what a Martini and Rossi Asti Spumante goes for at Market View Liquor? Can we call it? Can we call it M and R A S for short? What is How it? about a Maras Aspu? <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> Maras Ma Ross Aspu? Maras Aspu. Yeah. Right, hey, hey can I get Ma one of Maras Aspus? <laughs> hey, you guys sell uh, 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 Mara Aspu. Mara, I'm going to write it down. So I know it. <gasps> Come, Mara Aspu. Now, we, you know we've just inc- incited a demon. <laughs> Mara Aspu. <laughs> we're, trying to buy, we're trying to buy wine and then my car got possessed. <laughs> Mara Aspu. Your car got repossessed? Come. No. Possessed. No, possessed. <laughs> Mara Aspu. If only... <laughs> Mara Aspu Gula Makale I Katona. Um, no, uh, d- d- take it. Take a wild guess as to what the Market View liquor is is charging. Well, I guess it's got to be a small bottle. It's got to be less than five dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's two ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> but the full bottle? How much do you think a full bottle is going for? Also on, less on than five dollars. No, seven ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Well, that is a classy wine. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, so what is the three ninety one? You got cooking two one? Is it like shows. a cooking size? I, it must be a small one. Uh, Martini is one of the largest and best producers of Asti. Sweet, delicate flavors of melon, peach, apple, and grapefruit. I bet I would fucking love this wine. <laughs> it sounds like it's no pre-made reason. sangria. This is exactly what I want. Ah, what does Asti Spumanti mean? Finally! Ah. Alcohol by volume of grape. Natural ingredients. Uh, Asti, also known as Asti Spumanti, is a sparkling white Italian wine that is produced throughout southeastern Piedmont, but is particularly focused around the towns of Asti and Alba. So Where it's does Spumante like... come in? Spumante. Where does Spumante <laughs> come in? It probably means a mountain. <laughs> Asti, but next to the Spoo Mountain. <laughs> It's in the town of Asti next to Spoo Mountain. <laughs> you don't want to go next to Spoo Mountain. <laughs> yeah, unless you want some sweet fucking melon wine. <laughs> Which, that's what my wife, uh, I know the sc- tits. <laughs> <laughs> that sweet melon wine. <laughs> that's what Asti's. I don't drink what she does. I take her out for some sweet melon wine. Asti Spumante means sweet melon wine. <laughs> How quickly did you get kicked out of the matador <laughs> trying to get some watermelon wine? I was like, hey. You got some sweet melon wine? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, she got a she got some kind of anything to drink for you, sir? Drink. No, just a glass. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> just, just a, a glass, glass, please. I'll be squeezing my milky boobs into this. <laughs> uh, it was good. Uh, some good water, but uh, it was they were really good street tacos. Different okay. flavors. Did you eat a vegetable? And, yeah, they had some guacamole and all kind of other stuff. Okay. Yeah, and I had a, and they were covered <laughs> and they were covered in cilantro. So oh. I guess that counts. There you go. You ate like a garden. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I bet the cilantro keeps you real regular. <laughs> keeps me regular soapy mouth. I'm one of those that doesn't really like cilantro. It doesn't it doesn't hit that super soapy taste for me, but I don't yeah. really care for cilantro. Yeah, this a lot of people like to pretend like everyone's got this genetic thing. No. When you really have a genetic thing, it's it's awful. Yeah, it's you like, really, oh my god, I can't possibly but you yeah. know, I ate five street tacos. Covered in it, I'm yeah. fine. Yeah. I do not have. You that. just don't prefer. Cilantro. I just don't love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. don't go. I don't seek cilantro. Yeah, especially not to pair with Asti Spumante. No, 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 no. no, no. Those are that's cl- not a palate cleanser. That's clashing. a clash. No. Those clash. Martini and Rossi, Asti Spumante, <laughs> celebration grows. <laughs> um, so I uh, when you've got good taste, in shows, <laughs> we um, we uh. Oh yeah, so my uncle Sean uh, sees that my uh, my kids are playing with Iron Man figures. Okay, and says, "Have you seen Iron Man?" And the kids are like, "What?" And so he puts on the- what <laughs> he showed them the first Iron Man. Yeah, they lost their minds. <laughs> Correct. Did they lose their shit? <laughs> yes. Did they get scared as fuck? Well, here's the thing. No, 
<laughs> so here's the thing. So like, you know, we took our kids to Moana, and even people said like that has, has some moments that are kind of scary for kids. It's like okay. a giant lava monster. It's, it is it's intimidating. You know, when you go back and look at the like Little Mermaid. The design of that lava monster is pretty tough. I mean, yeah. if you're two, that's, yeah. a, that's a hard pill to you're swallow. Two and three and a half. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, 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 Robert Downey Jr.'s 2008 Iron Man is uh, PG-13. And my kids aren't uh, even a combined age of 13. No. <laughs> the one that starts out with them in the, like the, uh, the terrorist cave. Yeah. Yeah. Where like their convoy gets ambushed. <laughs> well, right. he's also and he gets dragged away as a prisoner of war. He's also yeah, that one. boning uh, a reporter. Reporters. Yeah. Right off the jump. Yeah. She's standing there all scantily clad. Yeah. Gazing out his penthouse window. Which no, I mean I, that's fine. Which my kids ignore because they're going to be gay. Care, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, and I mean she drank a lot of Aussie spumante. <laughs> she got she got spumante. Oh, <laughs> she got the spumante. Um, no one told me anything about the Spoo Monty. <laughs> I didn't know it'd be the she Spoo got the Monty. Full Spoo Monty. <laughs> My uh, oldest woke me up. Oh, geez. Holding both Iron Man figures. He has uh-huh. two. Oh, no. At quarter to six in the morning. <laughs> going, Iron Man. I want to watch Iron Man, Dad. And normally when the kid wakes up super early, we just like get in the bed, crawl into bed with us, right, and go yeah. back to bed. You know? Uh, no, I want to watch Iron Man, and I was like, I have no idea this happened. This was not in the oh. uh, this was not in the babysitter report. Mm. Right? Okay, well, why would it be? Right, that's not it's, safe. It's, it's Uncle Sean. It's not all right because you weren't there for this. Okay. No, it's a good move though. So I'm going like, what? Yeah, like what? And so I'm thinking there has to be something on YouTube. Right, something some some cartoon came out or something. So I go downstairs at six a.m. Mm-hmm. With my oldest, with his two Iron Man figures, he is lit up like a Christmas tree. I mean, fired up about Iron Man. He is drunk. It. Well, it's a good movie. Well, that's it. So Favreau's best. So he, um, he uh, better than Swingers, I'd argue. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great movie. It is a really solid film. I've watched it a lot now. It's re- because <laughs> <laughs> what happens is you can't put that genie back in the bottle, right? Oh. So is it on Netflix still? It's on Hulu. Uh, and it's also on Amazon Prime. Yeah, so my kid is my kid is uh, 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 old enough now that he just was like, I went to like be like, where is it? And he's like, Hulu. <laughs> like, okay. okay. So I go over to Hulu, and I look, and it's been watched halfway through. Oh, he didn't even see the whole thing. Right. So then uh, I rewind it, but I don't run it all the way back to the beginning. No. I'm a smart parent, so I go right to the part stuff. where Iron Man comes out of the prison. And <laughs> Iron Man becomes yeah, Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. The, the first fun. Iron Man signing. Yeah. And we go from there, and we move forward. Sure. And uh, my kid is narrating everything to me. Oh. I, you know, I, I'm trying to fall back asleep on the couch. <laughs> I can't believe Uncle Sean showed him a PG-13 action violent movie. <laughs> <laughs> There's no putting the genie back in the bottle. I just play it for him again. Mm-hmm. And I try to sleep and he's explaining to me every single fucking detail about yeah. Iron Man. And then uh, it's so early that we watch it, Iron Man twice before anyone else comes downstairs. <laughs> Whoa! Nine thirty. We'd gone through two two, two Iron Man. That's a full. That's a full day. <laughs> <coughs> I really loved Iron Man three. Yeah, everyone. Everyone just agrees to skip Iron Man two. Iron Man two is garbage. Yeah, but Iron Man three, I really like. Yeah, a lot of people liked Iron Man three. I liked Iron Man three too, as well. And uh, and then the Avengers. You just don't count Iron Man two. You just skip it. Yeah, you don't have to. Iron Man 2 is the whip one, right? Yeah. Iron Man 2. Mickey Rourke just Iron Man the wrestler. 2 introduced Black Widow. Yeah. Um, That's about it. Which one ends on the barge? With like the Iron Man suits. With all the suits, that's three. That's three. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's, like with, the, it's with the extremist thing where they did it. Because yeah. they that, they did a pretty good job. That comic book story of extremists is yeah. awesome. Oh, cool! Awesome. It be, wait of what extremists? What is the, that? The name of the the enemy it's the, band? It's the it's the bio thing that let the people explode. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, it, it turn turn humans into weapons, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah but okay. it also it also eventually becomes the thing where he uh, develops the ability to store the armor in his blood. Yeah, and like it becomes part of his body. It becomes like. Biomechanical. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So you can just, the armor just pops out of his 
business. It's yeah. pretty awesome. I've got to remember he to start thinking Bumonti's about it, it before I ask a question for Paul. Uh, <laughs> I, I have to remember to think, like, do I care about the answer to this question? That's... I don't know why I asked these questions. <laughs> you should read the extremist comic if you haven't read the extremist. I'm getting trade. right on it. It's really good. It's it's one of the better Iron Man stories. When you read the extremist comic, the <laughs> celebration grows. <laughs> when you're Iron Man, it shows. <laughs> so then, so then, uh, like the neighborhood kids are over, and Keeler wants to show. He loves to show off the latest movies, and he wants to show. Oh sure, but wants it's to like, show the kids we have but this the breakdown. Movie. Right. So now we're like gonna ask Sweet. other parents. Yeah, like do may we you watch could, Iron Man? <laughs> like, so we already don't care that we play like Bruno Mars and other songs that have cursing in it, yeah. right? Like um, mm-hmm. uh, thrift shop and stuff like that. Sure. How we old is the neighbor's care. kid? Uh, seven. Okay. And four. Gotcha. And so <clears throat> we had to like, and and it's also it's hard because I don't like right now. So he's not seeing the value in it, and so that, that's the whole thing. Like I don't teach him cursing, and I'm not trying to teach him anything that's gonna right if it bothers them. I don't want them to watch it, but if it, I don't want them to see, hey. You're watching something you shouldn't watch without understanding why. Not putting the taboo on it, right? Mm-hmm. I really don't want to. I don't want to put the taboo. I just want to put the Aspis Barante on it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so then we're like, kind of like feeling out parents, like, yeah, kids watching Iron Man this morning, funniest thing. He wants to watch it again, and uh, let's uh, you know, just try to like. And uh, if you want to object now, now speak now for everyone your peace. I don't want to. Iron Man. Kid, Iron Man. Um, They've probably seen it. Uh, everybody that? ended up being okay with it. Good. The truth is, is that after the first scene, all of the violence is really big and cartoonish. Yes. Oh, okay. It's not. There's not a lot of blood. No. There's not a lot of gore. It's a straight a up of... superhero movie. Yeah. Oh, because the, the whole terrorist thing, movie. like that's that's heavy. That's that's a little more realistic it's realistic than the rest. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, you know what you're saying is terrorism is a more real thing than a guy walking around in a big metal suit. I will say this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see if you can wrap your head around that. I will okay. say this. I was probably 12, 13. Mm-hmm. We're at my uncle Max, mm-hmm. and he rented us a movie. We got to we got we went to go rent a movie. Mm-hmm. Me and my brother were just hanging out for the evening, and it was Revenge of the Ninja. Uh-huh. Which is one of my all-time favorite movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen Revenge of the Ninja with Shokazuji? I think, I think so. Shokazuji. It's been a while. It's terrible. Right, but I loved ninja movies. Yes, we all did. Yeah. It had boobs, blood, ridiculous. We flipped. Right. We loved it. Yeah. There's a uh, white ninja, of course, who wears a Destro mask. <laughs> it's a white guy trying to get all, you know, he throws these throwing stars on the ground. Not throwing stars. These like little jacks. Sharukin? No. It's like a it's like a bunch of little jacks. There's Bless a name you. for them. But they're like a bunch of little sharp tacks. Matchbox cars? He knocks a guy into him, guy falls face into the face first into the jacks and gets up with a face full of jacks. It's really funny. I did see this movie, yeah. Yeah, you've seen uh, it. Yeah, yeah. We all seen Revenge of the yeah, Ninja. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> Uncles know what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncles know what to show you. And that's the thing. It's like I, he came downstairs and was like, Sean, did you show Keeler fucking Iron Man last night? And he was like, uh, yeah, was that a mistake? You know, and I just was like, <laughs> I said, well, it's PG-13. And he's four. Yeah. <laughs> Not even. Which is yeah. less than 13. Which is less than 13. Look, math isn't anyone's strong suit in this conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I said, honestly, it's just that, like, the, the mistake wasn't that he showed him that movie. Mm. The mistake was that he put it on, didn't realize what time it was, had to shut it off halfway through. Kid flipped out. Oh. And he said, look. Just go to bed now. We'll watch, watch the rest morning. of it tomorrow. Ah, yeah. So my kid woke up at quarter to six in the morning. It was like, it was like I must see finish this. Film. this finish it. So uh, that's what happened. He's gonna be binging cow yeah. trops. That's what the Jack things are called. We're being we're being told on the uh, on the Twitch. Oh, that's feed right. Here. Nice. We got we got we got C A L T R O P S. That's people. it. Nice. My favorite thing in the world is happening. We're being corrected in real time. Corrected real time. I, 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 I didn't get it wrong. I knew they weren't called face jacks. We were still in the... I still did have, you though, Paul? I did. I, I didn't st- know what they were called. Caltrops. I, I like still that. have it down in my notes as you were incorrect. Fine. <laughs> just, I'll take just it. Just so we're clear. I'll take it. That will be there unless we're corrected again next week. All right. Uh, Caltrops. Before I go into scoop mail, Jacob, I hear like a humming. Do you want to listen to my headphones to see if you hear what I'm hearing? Uh, not really, but okay. It's not. I don't hear a humming. I hear like an ocean. Yeah, it's like a, a very ambient. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a little a little in there. I gotta I gotta figure that out. Okay, as long it's as you probably from it, all right? these new cameras and lights. Yeah, yeah, who knows? 
We got yeah, you guys. It's a fan, it's, we we fancy in here. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot fancy. of stuff going on now. Fancy now. I almost killed somebody yesterday. What? Yeah, uh, with and your so, closet full of knives. Before you get into that, no? Jacob, I like to talk about my tires. Good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have four of them. Yes. Okay, Jacob. How did you almost kill a guy? Um, I I got so angry last night. I got Whoa. ridiculously angry last night. Uh, so in the neighborhood here. I thought you were going to say something accidental, but this no. is rage. This is a no. This was incident. rage. This is the angriest I've been in this, a long time. Uh, ice cream social listeners, scoops. Yeah. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what keeps the brotherhood of Jacob, Matt, and Paul together? <laughs> believe it or not, is a secret unchecked rage <laughs> that burns inside each of us. That only comes out on rare occasions. But we understand it, we see it in each other's eyes, we respect it, and we don't bring it out in each other. I don't, I want to disagree with you, but I think you're 100% right. I'm right. I'm I'm not jumping in to argue with that at all. I am right. This is what, this is what makes this podcast actually, the churn is the churning burn of our souls. There's we a, are so, we a are clash three between love and anger. Three very angry men <laughs> oh. who have found numerous ways to channel that energy in productive <laughs> styles. And, or and as we're about to hear some of them's counterproductive. Or so, but once in a blue moon, <laughs> yeah. Oh, kaboom! I'm I'm really like I have worked on it over the years. I used to be angrier. I've worked on it over the years. I'm not. I'm really not an angry guy anymore. <laughs> I'm with you there, Jacob. But I uh, feel you. So last night, people were setting off on the the 3rd of July. (laughs) As we're recording this, uh, spoiler alert, we recorded this the day before. Uh, On the 3rd of July, people are setting off fireworks. They're setting off fireworks uh, just around the neighborhood and everything. Fine. That that starts, you know, right after after the sun goes down, people are doing that and and their their kids are out watching it. Okay, fine. About 10 p.m. rolls around and people are shooting off the, the big ones, which are illegal. Mm-hmm. The, the, yeah, anything that goes up in the air here in the in the neighborhoods, it's illegal. Mm-hmm. Um, so and the and the dog is freaking the fuck out. I'm trying to get work done. I can't because the dog is just going nuts. And so I see some that are like pretty close. So I go, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna put the dog in the car, and we're gonna go down the street. And I'm gonna ask these guys to to just cool it, knock it off. Yeah, yeah. Woo! So I go down the street. You're braver now, man are you bringing me, your dog for sympathy or for like backup muscle? <laughs> uh, both. <laughs> no, I'm bringing the dog. I, Ninja can handle himself in a fight. I was not planning on taking the dog, but Ninja then is, when I went, has her cow togs. Yeah. <laughs> when I went to get in the car without him, he was so freaked out he was not having it. Uh, uh So I, I get in the car. I drive down. Uh, I go. I, I find the guys. They're in a little uh, in a little field that's right next to the neighborhood. I say, hey, how much longer are you guys going to keep doing this? Uh, you know, trying trying to get some rest, trying to do whatever. And uh, they say, oh, uh, probably a few more minutes. Is that is that cool? I say, uh, as long as you're done by the time I get back to my house, which means you get, probably get about two more shots, uh, then that's cool. Is, is that fair? And they go, yeah, yeah, we can we can do that. I say, great, no problem. And they say, sorry, sorry problem. to have disturbed you. Yeah, sorry to have disturbed you no, with no. our illegal fucking activity. This is fine. I'm okay right now. Oh boy. Because I, I drive back to the house and they cool it. No big deal. Negotiated this is a, terms. This is a fine, a fine conversation has happened. And then? No problem. Peace lives in the neighborhood. And then somebody else starts. Oh, shit. So the people that I had the initial conversation with, they're good guys. They're they done. say, sorry, we didn't mean to disturb anybody. We respect that. I say, great. Uh, real quick. Yes. We had this shit going on behind our neighborhood this weekend yeah like you know we got a a wall in front of where our complex ends and then there's just like residential area yeah of um other houses and i was just dumbfounded gobsmacked that giant explodey fireworks in this heat I know. I'm like, you are going to burn your own house or several oh, yeah. other houses. Is that down. something like I. Somebody's house caught fire yesterday. I yeah. visited Vegas it was on, the news. Um, on a cross country trip on July 4th before I moved here. If Was it somebody's house that, that, that did it to themselves? No. Fuck. Yeah. And God I, damn it. And I couldn't. I know. It wasn't even, it wasn't even the justice. Ugh. I couldn't even. Um, I couldn't believe how many fireworks were constantly going off people's backyards and the size of them yes you know what i mean they're oh yeah and i was like you don't have to go far to get no heavy duty shit that's it because in jersey a lot of people fire stuff but nothing not too many heavy duty ones and not right right not the amount 
I mean, it just seems like every other house has like a fucking grand finale in their backyard. They got the arsenal going. Yeah. Yeah. Now we do. We have. They're all set up in our parking lots and shit sure, like sure. That. And, uh, you know, it's gonna our, get crazy tonight. Yeah, it's not been too bad this year, honestly. I guess tonight's gonna be the real. Jacob would disagree with you, I think. Oh no, I mean it's been it's been bad. Because we're been not bad. At, we're not at the part right. where he's murdered anyone. Yet. Well, and we're right. not even. Ha- we haven't hit. I'm the still fourth. in a good tonight mood right is now. the fourth. Yeah. So it could, it's just gonna happen. But go ahead, uh, Jacob. So they stop. I get back home. A few minutes later, maybe maybe 15 minutes later crazy huge shit starts going off close and i'm like what the fuck is this so and the dog is losing his mind now because these are loud they're big like we try to go outside he sees them he runns right back inside it's terrible yeah uh and again i'm at the house i'm trying to do i'm trying to work on i'm trying to work on stuff and um can't get anything done because the dog is just going ape shit Mm -hmm. so i go okay i'll get back in the car i get back in the car i drive a block down the road this Reno murder mystery novel remains unwritten. Yeah. <laughs> I drive a block down the road and uh, I see people standing around. I'm like, holy shit, this is only a block away. There are guys, they've got 10 of the big fucking fireworks tube things. Giant mortars. On the street. Oh. Uh, Paul, tube things. Yeah, You're tube right. things, yeah. I believe is the correct term. You're right. They're just on the street and they're just shooting them off right there. Ugh. And so... Uh, I see the uh, the president of the HOA. She's one of the people who's standing around watching. <gasps> I'm like, hey, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, see, this oh. this I keep telling Anne as we look for houses. I'm like, no HOA, no HOA, because they're the worst. Yeah, and this this, is, this woman is usually really good about this well, stuff. Well, boy, oh boy, here we but go. she's just standing around watching now. Oh, and man. so I go up to her. This is now about eleven o'clock at night. I say, hey, what's up? Yeah, how come you're not doing anything about this? She goes, oh, uh, they'll, they'll probably just be at it for a little while. Uh, so I say, no, 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 fuck this. I'm, I'm going to go over and talk to him. So I just drive over. I, I just go over and park my car right next to all of their little tube thingies and uh, so that they can't keep going. And uh, I believe they're called Aspermontes, Jacob. Aspermontes, yes. Aspermontes. Those are Asti Boomontes. <laughs> Asti Boomontes from Boom Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> The celebration blows up. <laughs> <laughs> so get over there, and um, they say, "Yeah, we're just we're just doing this. We got uh, we got kids around." And they did. They, there were like 15, 20 people seated in folding chairs uh, in their driveway. For fuck's sake, go! You've got you've like, got to wait two days to go to an incredible professional one at any of many casinos, right? And I'm like, you guys got to stop this. Yeah, you do. And they just lose their shit. Oh boy. Uh, like I was, I was being really polite. I was being really nice about it. And I was like, Hey, you know, trying to get some rest, trying to get some work done. You know, all these people, uh, at this point I hear people down the road screaming at these guys, like, like knock it the fuck off. Yeah. Like yeah. they are pissed. Sure. Because you're setting off bombs in the fucking street. Yeah. It's yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. exactly that. Exactly Who would have thought that that would upset people? Houses are so incredibly close in these neighborhoods. Yeah. yeah. It is dry as a fucking bone and it's a hundred yep. plus degrees. Not hard to burn a house down with this shit. No. And plus, it's 11 o'clock at night. Anybody right. that has to go to work at a, at a real person time, you know, they're, yeah, they're a lot just of getting people, fucked. A lot of people did not get the Monday off, or even some people didn't get Tuesday off. No. Right. Some people are working. A lot of people are working today. Right. In Vegas. I'd say millions. <laughs> millions are working Probably today. quite a few. I would agree. Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's, a, it's we an are. entertainment town. I used to. Oh, yeah, we are kind of working. We're in front of microphones. That's right. Anne was like, so you don't really get the day off. I was like, oh, it feels like a day off. (laughs) (laughs) It feels like a day off. But if fireworks are going off right outside, it would suck. Oh, it would suck. (laughs) Yep. Sure would. I was a little worried about that, actually. Um, And so, yeah, so so they're just like. I would have poured Spumani all over their fuses. (laughs) They wouldn't have gone off. (laughs) So they keep fucking doubling down on it. I say, you know, people people are trying to get some sleep. People have to work in the morning. One of the guys who's doing it. Yells, look, motherfucker, I've got to go to work at 6 a.m., but I'm out here. Oh, well, like, yes, well, but you're the one doing it. Case closed, everybody. You're the one doing it. Yeah, this guy's allowed, an asshole. To, this guy's allowed to be an un- unkempt, hungover motherfucker tomorrow. Yeah. The rest of the world is wrong. Right. right. Yeah. What? Like, look, the drive through is not that, you know, <laughs> Yeah. fucking taxing on your. You can have a, a late night. <laughs> I'm dip making turd. egg McMuffins tomorrow at 6 a.m., motherfucker. <laughs> All right, dip turd. 
Uh, this I believe this I'm whole thing. I'm putting hash browns in the sleeves. I got to go suck dicks all night. <laughs> I'm still blowing this shit up now. And t- I, and 20 look, minutes man. from now, I got to go walk out there and try and suck dicks. <laughs> but I am still doing this because America. Because America. <laughs> God oh, damn yo. it. One of them yelled at me that I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for this country. Oh, that's what he said. He said I... you wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for this country. Well, what the fuck are you like, talking I, about? I'm not sure. The, I'm, I don't think those words mean what you think they mean. No, not only do they not. <laughs> Jacob, your dad is not who you think it is. <laughs> your dad is America. Mm. <laughs> your father's America, or oh, maybe um... they're describing an ancient elm that had developed a vaginal system. The legendary Go country. <laughs> this land the is, le- <laughs> This land is your land. This land's Jacob's mother. <laughs> Go fuck this ma- land and make a Jacob. <laughs> the legendary country that has a vagina. And then it grows a baby in its trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob came out of the earth. He came out of a knot hole. Growth. Yeah, he came knot. out of a knot hole. That's right. A knot hole on a tree. Secrets out. The secret country. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this was the biggest argument against uh, civilians carrying guns that I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, you needed another oh one. If God. I no, if I had had a gun with me. Oh right. I I believe that uh, bad things would have happened. I'm sure it would. have. I was like, because I've got raging. three. I've got three guys just sitting there screaming at me oh. that I want them. To, that I want them to cut this shit out. Oh. And. Oh man, I was nothing worse than motherfuckers on the wrong side of the law acting the fool. Yeah, it's like, yo, sorry, sorry to put you in check. And I just let you know that your uh, your, your HOA person is just scared. Oh, I went back to the HOA person and uh, read like, her the fucking riot. I'd be, be like, uh, I guess I'm getting two free months now. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, You're like you ain't getting my HOA money for yeah. two months because right. of this bullshit right here. No, so uh, so I finally I, like talking to these guys. Uh, finally, the homeowner came over. A, a female homeowner came over, Pay and she was like, "Hey, Beavis. like, is, what? What can we do?" Uh, I, I said, believe she's called the mortar, Jacob. Yes. Uh, so the mortar comes over. She's talking, <laughs> and uh, she says, "What can we do?" I say, "You know, look, uh, we got this stuff going on. I understand you guys want to have all the all the stuff going on, but um, uh, how about instead of uh, doing this all night?" You do it for another five minutes. Like, I'm sure you guys got something big to shoot off. You do it for another five minutes. And one of the guy goes, okay, so 20 more minutes. No problem. It's like, no, no, no. Fuck you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the woman who's, who owns the house now. So you guys do it for another five minutes. I'll get home and we'll be done. She goes, great. Five minutes. Thank you. That's great. Uh, you can time us and five minutes will be done. So I look down at the clock at the clock time and uh at the clock in the car and i said great uh, and i said whatever time was five minutes from then I said so by that time you'll be done she goes yep I said okay if in six minutes another firework goes off i'm calling the cops that's fair that's the next step six minutes fair you are the more cops. uh you are a better negotiator to rage than i am yeah oh right now i would have been trying to run over the i would have called the cops car. already I, I I would have just called the cops. I would yeah. never actually go and talk to people. <laughs> I'm not that. I'm not that guy. No. I would have. Uh, I would different than both of you. I would have dressed up like a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I might have dressed up the corner, twirl on a billy club. I might have dressed up like a firework. <laughs> Paul, baby, you are a firework. I know. You are. Sometimes though, I feel like a plastic bag. Oh no. But so they Drifting kept through the wind. So they kept shooting them off, though. They kept shooting them off. Started. They went longer than the five minutes. They went longer than the five minutes. Oh, no, Jacob. Oh, no, this is going to be terrible. Oh. I went back down there. Oh, shit. I started screaming at them. The people down the street at this point, they come down. And so we get them like on both sides yeah. now. There are like six of us now just letting them have it. <laughs> at this point, the HOA president walks to her house. Oh, she leaves. She leaves. She's out. This is like a Western where like the sheriff is like, I'm out of here. Yeah. Exactly. Like, you hear the badge hit the floor. Yeah. And, like, exactly. Closed, closed I'm not sign messing with up. that mustache gang. I learned my lesson last time. <laughs> yeah. So I say, look, I just called the Street cops. Street to yours, mustache gang. I'm out. If anybody wants to be deputized, I'll be peeing in the back. Yeah. <laughs> I go, I just called the cops. Uh, you know, maybe they'll show up. Maybe they won't. Because I, I know it's a busy time for them right now. And I called their non-emergency line thing. So right. I was like, I mean, they're not 
You're like, anything, what are you wearing? Really? Blah, yeah, blah, exactly. Blah. Yeah. Usual conversation. Took me a long time. <laughs> took me a good three minutes to jack it and then actually talk to them. So they finally pack up. They, oh, they call yeah. They call all of us un-American. They finally un-American. pack up. Un-American. Yep. Uh, they tell us how we're ruining their kids' 4th of July and Eat everything else. shit. Yeah, exactly. It's not the 4th of July. Yeah. <laughs> Eat shit. I'm ruining the 3rd of July. I'm ruining right. the 2nd of July. <laughs> Eat shit. I, did, I was like, why don't you guys do this tomorrow? They're like, well, we're going to be in Boulder City tomorrow. You well, won't have to deal with this. I was like, you. great. Do it there. That's even better. I bet there's do probably this in Boulder there. City tomorrow. Oh, or I, or actually, Boulder cops will get you. Yeah. yeah. Boulder, Boulder cops. Yeah, they, they, they would just have been shot. You all can't they, pull it. Yeah. All that town does make money it's on those. true. Th- on oh, Boulder true. cops do not let anything slide. No, no. You guys want to get in trouble. Go jaywalk in Boulder this City. This is a town that hates third stories. Oh, man. <laughs> it's true. True as a heart attack. Oh, boy. This town, it hates speed limits over 30 miles an hour. They do not yeah. play. No. Boulder City cops do not fuck around. No. So as I'm walking back back home after this last altercation, they're finally like packing up all the blasty tubey thingies. Uh, sorry, homeowners. Uh, they're, they're packing up all the homeowners. And, uh, <laughs> I walk past pa- uh, past the HOA president's house. She walks out because I mean she knows me. She know like we've spoken before. Uh-huh. She's like, yeah. As soon as I saw you come up and the and the guys from down the street come up, I was like, yeah, it's time for us to go inside. I was like, yes, because it's something you could have stopped half an hour ago. You could have fucking kept it all from happening. Instead, I'm out here fucking yelling in the street, and now I've got to deal with your ass. Did, did she? Did they take a? Did they take a bribe? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> like it just seems like really weird behavior. If she had said they gave me a hundred bucks to let them do it, yeah. I, I would have been more understanding. I that's think a, she that's just likes fireworks. Like <laughs> that's honestly what it comes Maybe down a, to. Yeah. People just go, oh, 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 look, oh, oh, look, it is fun. It's oh, exciting. Nice. I get it. But I it's don't. also no. I don't, I don't anymore. It. I don't. Not get anymore. It. Not like it when there's literally thirty huge professional fireworks displays that are going to go off yeah. in this town yeah. in a matter of hours. Exactly. Go to bed. I let the pros handle I've it. I've already, I think early in this, early in our show, I was the person that actually burned something down in the backyard. Like we, With fireworks? We had a dud go off and didn't oh, extinguish yeah. it. Oh, yeah. we thought it was just done. And it went off And we later. went to the movies. <gasps> oh, yeah. Holy we came home, shit. We came home to like, it would look like a television show. Like we came home to like three fire engines and police. And oh, stuff my God. In our house and we're like what's going on they're like oh and just it was just in the backyard and it was just a smoldering tree trunk still but it looked looked bad bad and, and yeah. it could have obviously un, unattended Unchecked to it, it could have yep uh but uh and that was enough i was like i then we took every precaution we were we were doing whatever except we didn't think to you know throw a bucket of water on the dud or something right yeah. so it just was you know i was after that i was like all right that's not it's never worth burning down the romance goes away yeah i mean it's it's You've i like seeing house. professionals do it i, don't I mind remember going to when i show. was like when i turned like 18 and i could buy fireworks in kentucky and i was yeah. like wait how much am i spending here <laughs> yeah, no yeah. i'm not gonna set my money on fire <laughs> no i'm not gonna literally set my money on fire <laughs> i remember we had the little snap good. caps and the cat posts, little yeah, black the hockey punks yeah the snakes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the turd they look like cat turds yeah you make giant Whee! cat turds your dog would eat them i'd pull it out of the mm-hmm. butt Yep. And uh, and that was the 4th of July. Um, Loud whistlers. The bottle rockets, I told you that. My brother would take the stick off and just chuck them in the air. And then everybody would just that's go over crazy. and dodge them. Which is <laughs> nuts. Yeah. Nuts. But uh, my down, but that's down, heavy duty. Like, my down people have so much more heavy duty shit now than that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bottle yeah. rocket's not going to. No. I mean, it's not good. No. You can you can cause some real damage to bottle rockets. The worst thing was putting lady fingers in G.I. Joe's. We did actual hostage mm-hmm. situations and deaths. Yep. <laughs> they actually yeah. blew apart. I'm not saying I never had any fun with fireworks. Yeah, you're just but, over it. But I'm way over it. Yeah. I got I got way over it pretty early. Like we would do all that stuff. I keep thinking but we were also in the middle like, of the country. Right. That's a whole other thing. Are you Are you in the sticks? Have you got other people around with you know water and safety and yeah? We uh, wouldn't have any of that. But it wasn't like we we just weren't <laughs> next to people's houses. Right. That just, is that is huge and now, difference. And now I'm also remembering. <laughs> Launching Roman candles towards each other, not yeah, at each that's other. Not, yeah. Oh, we, we had Roman bad. candle fights. So, yeah. yeah, Roman yeah. candle fights. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now I'm kind of back on these guys' side. No, <laughs> I, uh, here's the thing. I would not, I'm so, I would absolutely, act, I would. I could be talking to doing everything those neighbors were doing, sure. except for continuing to do it with all the neighbors yelling and screaming. Right. And that's the thing is like the first people when I was like, hey, trying to trying to work, trying to rest, trying to do whatever, and they were like, yeah, sorry, didn't mean to didn't mean to fuck with anybody's night. You know, we respect that. Yeah. And they stopped. 
Yeah. Like they shot off one more thing as I was driving home and then they were done. And then, yeah, these motherfuckers trying to say like, oh, yeah, like all of us that didn't want or they wanted to stop. Like we're, we're the ones in the wrong. I, yeah, you can, uh, if, you can I were you, if I was the first people, I would have just killed your dog and then be like, there, now you don't have to worry about him being upset. There is and that. I would have kept firing on fireworks. There is that. <laughs> hey, I just watched uh, John Wick, the uh, the sequel last night. Oh, oh I've got both of those good. movies. It's really good. We're going to watch them at some point. I heard John point. Wick 2 is good. Yep. Uh, John, I mean, John Wick 1, though, what made me think of it was uh, the whole movie is, is basically about somebody killing his dog. That's right. Yes, yeah. I did hear Which that. isn't really a spoiler. It happens very early yeah, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. It's revenge. Um, uh, let's see. I'm just reading the chat here. Gasman Scoop had a guy in his motorcycle club who had a pyrotechnics license. Oh, yeah. Uh, eight, eight inch mortars, 600 foot uh, massive, like Disney like explosions. That's yep. good stuff. I don't mind a professional thing happening. And usually it happens at a, at a, at a nice hour. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. you no, know, like, we have the best pyrotechnic people in the world launching it at 1 a.m. off the stratosphere. Right. <laughs> you know. Um, Oh, a buddy of mine in town. He's a, a big pyrotechnics guy. He does uh, the the pyro shows for a lot of the casinos in town. He did the one at Caesars the other night, and um, actually, no, he didn't, because I'm about to tell the story that uh, he didn't. So he did not do the one at Caesars the other night. Uh, they do the, allegedly. They do the giant. You know, it's tens of thousands of dollars worth of uh, firework shows. Uh, at the end of them, and they do this every now and then. Actually, they probably don't do it anymore because this would be bad if they did. If yeah, they still did this, so, so, they, I'm, so sure they, I'm sure they don't the do this. The story's from the 90s, In right? fact, they probably just discussed doing it. They probably never did it at all. <laughs> uh, but what they discussed doing was taking all of the leftover pods that they had, wiring them all together, just taking them out in the desert and wiring them all together and setting off one big bang. Not shooting up in the air, but just oh. setting it off on the on the desert ground. Uh, making a giant crater and then taken off like hell because they would lose their licenses <laughs> if they got caught. Uh, but they set off one explosion that is something, it's the equivalent of something like 10 sticks of dynamite. I was going to say, a bomb. Uh, with, it's the equivalent with, of a bomb. Yes. Oh, no, it's just, it's, it is a bomb at that point. Yeah. It's 10 sticks of dynamite is a very large explosion, makes a very large crater in the middle of the desert. It makes That may or fishing. may not have been expanded several times over several years. Okay. Yeah. All, All right. right, the legend continues. So next time someone the calls celebration you, grows. <laughs> celebrations keeps growing. Uh, so next time someone calls you a crater face, then you know what the, it's a really compliment. Mean. It's a yeah. compliment. You have a firework grand finale on your face. Right. We were doing uh, shades Saturday night. Yeah, we had to delay the uh, start of the show. And we had to hold for like four minutes because it was was that Saturday night or was that Sunday night? That was Sunday night. Sunday night. It was Sunday night because yeah. it was brrr, yeah yeah crazy. And Caesar's Caesar did their fireworks show on July second. It was either. The grand finale of a fireworks show, or a really old school mafia hit happening mm-hmm. outside at the drive at the, Which the valley. You never know. Possibly both. An the old, mafia could have been using the fireworks as cover. A Tommy gun. <laughs> An old Tommy gun. Yeah. Ratatatting down below. Um. All right. Let's get into some scoop mail, shall sure we? Thing. Message for you, sir. Well, we've got one today from Jake Artis Baldwin. <laughs> Greetings, you gorgeous gods of pod. Your humble servant, Jacob the Farmer Guy, here with another shitty job story. To set the story up a bit, you need to know that every time we sell all of the hogs out of one of our confinement barns, we have to clean all of the crap, old feed, and dust out of the hog barns. Oh, jeez. To do this, we use two commercial-grade pressure washers. Several years ago, one of the pressure Good washers Lord. we used was a gas-powered one. We always had to be careful and make sure that at least one of the fans at the back of the barn was sucking air out so we didn't gas ourselves. Right. Well, one day, we were washing a, washing a barn, and the, the fan we were using at the back quit working, and after several hours of carbon monoxide being pumped into the barn, I started getting so weak I couldn't hold my arms or head up anymore, oh. and I had the worst migraine I'd ever had. Look out. Jesus. You're gonna die. Finally, I couldn't take it anymore and assessed my surroundings. Sure enough, after a quick Google search, I found out I had stage three carbon monoxide poison. In and the I, You realize this in the barn? I guess so. <laughs> I couldn't lift my hands, but I started Googling. Well, he was Googling it down. He, was, he kept his hands and down. The WebMD said I had stage 3 carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, uh, the next step listed on there was death. Yeah. About a year... Uh, so there is no stage 4. Stage no. 4 is death. <laughs> One, yeah. two, three, death. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Uh, about a year later, the same thing happened again, but this time I sold the washer and bought a new electric one. That way it would never happen again. There well, that's my shitty job story. There's uh, some teenager in Massachusetts trying to talk and go back in the barn after he got <laughs> 
Sorry. Just keep soon. pressure washing. Too soon. Is he putting too much pressure on your pressure washing? <laughs> Go to jail. <laughs> That's my shitty job story. I definitely have some more. Uh, P.S. If there are any other Missouri scoops out there, I would love to hear from you. I'm on Twitter. My handle is at Jacob D. Baldwin. Salt pork! Salt pork! Salt pork. That is always Peer pressure washing. Like uh, gas leaks. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, carbon monoxide. Radon. Like, yeah, once I mean like Chong, st- stuff. Excellent actress. <laughs> so yeah, like if I was wearing her and not knowing it. She was great in the Mortal Kombat series. She was was she in that? Yeah, she was Radon, right? <laughs> Radon, the god of thunder. <laughs> is that the, is that that character's name? Raiden. Shit. I was close. Close. Spumanti. Yeah. Raiden Good. Spumanti. Mm-hmm. Raiden Spumanti. Martini and Rossi, Raiden Spumanti. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! I, um... Uh, it's not about death, but life. That's the... F- where, like, you don't realize until it's too late that something's happening or been happening to you. Like, it's... Oh, oh it's yeah. So, it makes me so uncomfortable and so eerie. Weird Al's parents both died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh, from the uh, what yeah. odd trivia! It's the saddest thing. They passed away in their home with the, the new home he had bought them, and they had a leak, and it was yeah. oh terrible. That's even worse. It's you one of the saddest the things house? ever. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. It's one of the saddest things ever. Oh, that breaks my heart. Weird yeah. Al. Weird Al is one of the, like greatest people, and he has gone through some horrible shit. Yeah. Nicest guy if you ever meet him. Yep. Yep. Nicest guy. Mm-hmm. Um. Getting a star on the nicest, Hollywood Walk of Fame. Not even nice. Nicest. I dare you to find me someone nicer. Fuck you if you think you know someone I nicer. I won't find it. I'm not even looking. <laughs> He's going to walk a fame star? Yep. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah. He and Lin Manuel Miranda at the same time, I think. Lin Manuel Miranda. Lin Manuel Miranda. Lin Manuel Miranda. Astis Pumanti. He raps the celebration. We have one from Scorbutic Scoop. Hey there, Jacob, Matthew, and Paul. Oh, another new order of names. I had a question I was hoping you guys could help me out with. Uh, we are experts nope, on a lot. So that's good. That's Can't do okay. anything for you. Sorry. It's a, it's a no for me as well. Love to help. All right, <laughs> next luck mail. On your journey. Next mail. No. First, some quick backstory. I went to a four-year college for accounting at Indiana State University, (laughs) home of the (laughs) Mr. Larry Bird. I got my degree and found a very well-paying job in my field. Go Sycamores. (laughs) Paul's just laughing at the word accounting in Indiana. Yep. I've been at this job for about three years now, and I can't... All right, y'all. It's time for the final. Keep your shoes on. Oh, man. Yes, keep your shoes on. That's right. There are some questions where you will have to count above 10. So good luck. Where does the the number 10 come from? Huh? 10. What does that mean? I'm saying you can't count above 10 if you got your shoes on. You can't count above. Because you got to use your feet. You can't count count above 10. What's that word mean? Oh, boy. (laughs) I have failed as a college professor. (laughs) I've been at this job for about three years now, and I cannot stand it. (gasps) Yep, it comes easy for me, and the money is very nice, but it's boring as fuck, as the kids say. Because of this, I have decided to change my career. It has always been a dream of mine to create video games. I know how much I personally love them, so if I could make something like that for others, that would be very fulfilling to me. Admirable. I've decided to learn programming and video game design in the hopes that sometime in the near future, I could open my very own indie game studio. Wow, that's that's not an easy thing. That is ambitious. My question. When the time comes for me to start this business, I will, of course, need a name. Since you guys are great at picking out names for babies, maybe you could help me think of an indie game development studio as well. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to hearing your ideas. Keep up the marginally above average work. Scorbutic Scoop. Scorbutic! Um, I go with a who's your damn? Who's your damn? Uh... Oh, who's your daddy? That'd be a good name for. Who's a your daddy would be funny. Who's yeah. your daddy would be good. There's got to be another. Yeah, Indiana somebody has, somebody has to have used that. Maybe. I'll get it right now. Right privilege.com. Grab, Grab it. <laughs> who's your da- Oh, I spelled it. Who is your? <laughs> wait, who's your daddy's not taking it? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, I, I, I put apostrophe s and still left the e in there. Uh, so it says who's with the apostrophe. Who's their s. daddy? Um. 
what else? We need other names? I would suggest you wait until you get it cooking. And once, like, I think all the great ones have to, the names of your company, especially, has to come from a very personal spot. Uh, I would go with Petroglyph. That's here. Oh, that's the name of a successful video game company in Las yeah. Vegas. Um, you know, like, Peter Molyneux's company Lionhead was named after the gerbil that they kept at the company that had a big fuzzy head. I would go with Lionhead Special Studios. Guest Jacob. Special Guest Jacob Studios. That's a good one. Special Guest Jacob Studios is not bad. Uh, you could go with something that makes people want to give you money. So you could just, uh, you could name yourself after a charity. <laughs> like Salvation Army Studios. <laughs> How about like Unwinnable Games or Cheat Code? <laughs> Call yourself Cheat Code. Good, good. Uh, yeah. Cheat Code, Game Hack. Uh, Asti Spumante. Uh, I don't think anybody's got no. that for a game. <laughs> Mario and Luigi's Asti Spumante. <laughs> Mario and Luigi's Asti Spumante. That, Nintendo will leave that alone. Uh, Mario's Dirty Underwear. There about, it is. This is my rifle. This is my game. <laughs> That's this not is terrible. This for shooting. This is for fame. <laughs> flame. For Flame Wars. <laughs> How about uh, So Lit on Fleek? On Fleek How about Gaming? you call your company That Handicapped Girl Looks Cute? <laughs> Just for the fuck of it. Uh, Fleekenstein. Fleekenstein! Fleekenstein. Fleekenstein. Millennial. Yeah. Oh, you could call it, uh, call it uh, Avocado Toast. <laughs> it really gets to so the millennial. Decadent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the decadent millennial uh, treat. Avocado Toast Game Studios. <laughs> I kind of like that. Avocado Toast is not like a bad name for, toast for a name for game studio. studio. Uh, you can get like uh, two uh, two fighting avatars. You get a little, little uh, image of two fighting avatars. One like who's about to punch the other one. And uh, you just call it yourself as uh, I'd Hit That Studios. <laughs> yeah. 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 Stink Finger Studios. <laughs> Stink Finger Stink Studios. Stink Finger is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you got plenty to choose All right, from. That's it. Good luck. Good Nothing luck. but the butt studios. <laughs> Nothing but the butt. <laughs> that has been taken, my friend. How about shh? It's butt stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Hush, it's butt stuff. It's butt stuff. Butt stuff. You could get, do a weird symbol like Prince. Yeah. Just call yourself that's really emblem. Easy to, that's really easy in the digital world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Definitely unwritable. Symbol. Yeah, well, you could call it. You could call your studio unpronounceable symbol. Yeah, unpronounceable oh, emblem. Yeah, um, yeah, that's good. I like. How it. about my studio's name is a killing word <laughs> from Dune. What? Uh, my name is a killing word from from what? From Dune. Oh, Dune. Dune, Dune. with an N. Yeah, Dune. I, like, I, don't, I don't remember that part from Doom. No, I finally beat Doom the other day. The new Doom. Oh yeah. Oh. What a rewarding fucking game! That's a that's a tough boss at the end too. Isn't oh, it? bitch! But I got that spider thing. Woo! I figured it out. Leon uh, from the chat thinks Emblem Studios is a great name. Which one? Emblem, just Emblem Studios. Oh, Emblem, Emblem Studios. Not bad. That's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's time for Jock versus Nerd. Sure Sweet. it is. Sweet meat. Sweet meat. Jock versus Nerd action. Oh, am I? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for balls. On the hunt for balls. <laughs> Explosion of uh, fireworks down. Jacob's oh lord! Street. What is this? This is a gigantic scoop mail. Uh, you might notice that I have this big scoop mail thing. <laughs> you see how it's blocking out the entire screen? I was gonna say, yeah. Holy it's crap! Not even, it's not even in camera. Uh, this is our Jock versus Nerd for the day. Uh, this is coming to us from Peeps Gelato. 
Uh, greetings, you most scoopful gamesters. I've been a scoop for a hell of a long time, at least going back to when Matt joined PSS. I've been wanting desperately to give back in some way. The community you have created has been exceptional, and I'm proud to be a part of it. It's also given me something to focus on during a particularly difficult time of my life. Between stickers, scooperty, dickeramas, and so many other things, scoops have shown their appreciation in a number of ways beyond Patreon. Outside of a few small contributions I've made, I don't feel like I've done anything substantial until now. Dun, Did that dun, person dun. say his name is Gelato Steve? No. No, this is Peeps Gelato. Peeps Gelato. I give you Scoop Game 17. Whoa, Whoa, look out. Six scoops were selected for matches just like the original match game. The There are two rounds plus a tiebreaker. Hilarious. Uh, although I hope you play all three rounds like all games in the event of a tie, Jacob wins. I've tried to make it as easy as possible to play, uh, so have at it and have fun. That's Adam, uh, who is also Peeps Gelato. Uh, let's see, Matt. Yeah, hold it up to your camera yeah. there, Matt. Oh man! Look at that. This that, is sexy. That is that is a lot of stuff. Yeah, run it run it up there. Let them there see the whole go. thing. There we go. There's a lot going on Once to again, that. All of our uh, all of our broadcasts now are also shown live on Twitch. At the time we record. That's right. Twitch.tv slash Hey Scoops. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can subscribe to that uh, every month. Which is uh, as Chuck from Ugu points out, annoying that the word subscribed is used for something you have to redo every month. Right. <laughs> It's very true. It's a, it's a, it's a fine point. Re-up that subscription and yeah. get us that free $5. We appreciate that. Okay. All right. So let's see. I'm not entirely sure how we how we play this. All right. So uh, so it's match game. Each each uh, each scoop there has a, a different... Uh, this is crazy. A different thing there next to them. Yep. All right. So we have uh, Slaking Fool. Yep. Scooper Nova Girl. Mm-hmm. Scoop Dick Mound. Uh, Froyo Soft Serve. Paper Street Scoop Company, and uh, Mrs. Johnny Australia. Yes. All uh, big scoops in the scoop community. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. So I have different. I have 1A, 2, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, and 3A and 3B questions. Those all correspond with those little uh, tablets there. Yeah. 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 So this is like the match game? Do we yep. know how to play the match game? I don't. Paul, do you know how to play match game? Yeah, you try and match it. Good job. Oh, good, Paul. You try and say the thing that they're going to say. So you ask the question. Oh, and you and you want to give the answer that they would give. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, that makes sense then. And then you pull it and see if they gave the answer that you thought. Okay, so Matt, I'll read the uh, the question. Do you want to do you want to run the board there? Sure, I'll run the board. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's see. This is one A. Yeah. So this is a uh, yellow, the the yellow dot with right. a, with an A there. Yes. Okay. Uh, in an upcoming episode of ICS, Paul decides to kill off Johnny Australia. Johnny is wandering all alone in the outback and is blanked to death by a kangaroo. He is blanked to death by a kangaroo. I'm gonna say fucked. Okay. Do you, do you say who say fucked? Yeah, I think you have to pick fucked? the person, right? No, you just say fucked, and then he pull he pull that first one for everybody and see how many i get and same thing with you matt you pick okay. a, you say what if you want to say fuck you can say fuck so this too. is question a this is question yeah yellow a yeah yellow a all right so what are you gonna say matt slaking fool said donkey punched what are you saying no, you have to give your answer matt. oh oh <laughs> uh, i'm gonna go with donkey punched good <laughs> yeah we got matt, a match matt's got a point. <laughs> all right oh, no. matt's on the uh, board what was, I, what was i gonna say you said fucked i said fucked uh i was gonna say uh i'll say um uh, uh, oh, uh, reached into uh, his chest and ripped out his beating heart. I don't think that's going to come up, but all right. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Donkey Punch is the first Donkey one. Donkey Punch. All right. What does Scooper Nova Girl Scooper say? Scooper Nova Girl says. This is amazing. Tickled. Tickled, Tickled okay. Tickled to death. Uh, Scoop Dick Mound says. So far, I'm winning. Yep. I think you might win. Smooched. Okay. Smooched. Getting closer uh, to fucked. We're getting closer, but we're not there. We're, we're into foreplay. A lot of foreplay. <laughs> Froyo Soft Serve says, uh, Digery Dude. Oh, that would have been oh, that's a good one. Yep. I should have guessed that one. And uh, pa Paper Street Scoop Company uh, says... Uh, we got to get that on camera. I know. I don't know how to do it. Uh, pouch Smothered. Pouch get, Smothered. Pouch Smothered. Do I get partial credit? For Pouch Smothered? What did you say? I said uh, ripped into his chest and tear out his beating heart. <laughs> Uh, box to death. Another good answer. Uh, by all right. 
Good. So no points. So no points. No, no points. points. All, right. All right. No but, points but, for round one. But that's you got to get that first round to get a, get a taste of where everybody lives. Yes. Okay, I can hold. I think I yeah, can. Yeah, Matt, show, him, show, show it to him again there. There you okay. go. Okay, and then I can show the answers. I'll do better in round two. I'll do better for the there we go. watching Great. on Twitch. Uh, Matt, th this is a Yellow Bee. Matt is planning Scoop Fest, but realizes too late that he forgot to reserve seats at Fifty Shades for attending Scoops. Before the show, he goes to each ticket holder personally and offers to blank each one of them if they'll give up their seat. Okay. So Matt is going to blank each ticket holder to give up uh, to, to convince them to give up their seat. What's he going to do? Uh, Matt, why don't you go first this time? I'll go with, obviously, the, the, these is a setup for blowjobs. So I'm going to yeah. go with blow. Are you going to blow? Okay. And Paul, what do you think? Uh, I will say... Uh, right here. Let me start. Let me... Nuzzle. Maybe I can do this easier over here. Nuzzle. Here. Nuzzle. Nuzzle? I'll say he'll nuzzle. You're nuzzle. going nuzzle. Yeah. All right. So let's okay. see. We got, uh, we'll got. we go with uh, Slaking Fool first again here. He says Peg. Oh, good the one. Peg good one. is the first good answer. answer. Mm -hmm. Good answer. Uh, Scooper Nova Girl says... Also Peg. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, everybody's going Peg here. I think people know me too well. Must have been that week. Scoop Dick Mound says that you'll offer them a low five. Come on, Nuzzle. Come uh, on, Nuzzle. Come on. What did I say? Blow. Come on, blow. blow. Oh, close to you, Matt. Close to you, Matt. Uh, Froyo Soft Serve says rim job. Rim job. Uh, it's getting the closer. Wrong side. Getting closer. Just the wrong side. side. Wrong side. And, and yep. rusty trombone. Different thing. Yeah, rusty trombone. Uh, let's see. Paper Street trombone. Scoop Company says... Not tell his engagement story. <laughs> he will go up to each and every person oh. and say, if you will move, I won't tell you I my engagement I story. I can't promise that to anyone. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, I gotta go That's that pretty one. good. And Mrs. Johnny Australia, she sticks with the popular line of peg. Oh. Wow, three pegs. A lot of pegs three there. Three pegs, pegs in the fountain. <laughs> I got a new ticket strategy. Yeah, right? All right, so again, we're honing in on what they yeah, think. Yeah, you're really getting this know. figured now out we're now. we're going to know them. Okay. Yeah, we're cracking this nut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jacob found a $100 bill and decides to try his luck at the slots. As he approaches one that looks good, an old lady and a rascal whizzes by to beat him to it. To make sure she gets it, to make sure she gets it first, she whips out her cane and jabs him in the blank. That fucking old lady trying to get oh, past the me. the blank is there. What okay. she, what she'd try to jab me in? In the eye. Goes for the eye, huh, yep. Paul? I'm going to go with uh, um, uh, his giant balls. All right, All let's right. see. We're going to go. With, we're going to start with Paper, Paper Street Scoop Company. Uh, beard that would let him pass from mid 30s if it wasn't gray. <laughs> <laughs> right in the beard that would let me pass for the mid 30s if it wasn't gray. Good. Mrs. Johnny Australia says the swell of the back. Oh, that's a good place to poke <laughs> it. Right in the swell of the back. Oh, good place. Scooper Nova Girl says huge cock. Right in the huge, huge cock. cock. Points? Uh, yes. That's huge balls. No, Your I'll give it to balls. you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, the Telefunken U47 is uh, what Scoop Dick Mound says. Right. <laughs> Slaking Fool says knobs and dials. Right in the knobs and knobs dials. Knobs and dials. Oh, good. And Jesus. Good stuff. And Froyo Soft Serve says the MRSA taint wound. Oh. oh. Right in my MRSA taint that, wound. That cane would, that cane would regret it. Oh. The Lord have MRSA. No oh, boy. Uh, we're going to give Matt credit for one of those. Yeah. yeah. Matt, Matt one to nothing after that three would, rounds. That would be a point. <laughs> that, they would they would count that on the game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they would. Uh, speaking of MRSA taint, taint wounds, uh, RJ pays the guys a visit with good news. His injury is almost fully healed. Unfortunately, he now has another problem because after he scratched his itchy taint, he scratched his blank. Oh, oh. So he had MRSA all over his fingers, scratched this time, his itchy I'm taint. I'm going to go I. <laughs> Oh, oh right go for the eye, eye again because yep. the eyes may have it. Yep. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, uh, belly button. Oh, All right. that could do, I bet somebody will get that one too. Let's see here. Oh. Mrs. Johnny Australia says nose. Oh, oh no, Mercy nose. nose. Scooper Nova Girl says pupils. We're giving it to eyes. There we go. Yeah. Like Scoop Dick Mound says pink eye. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's two for Paul. Two yeah. on the board, baby. Slaking Fool says his itchy taint. Went right back to his <laughs> right itchy back taint. taint. <laughs> oh, that's boomerang that's terrible. finger. Oh. Boomerang finger. For your soft serve says, oh, no, I. Oh, yes. Man. 
And Paper Street Scoop Company says the section of his massive ball sack that he previously knew nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, no one got that one. All right. So I got three. Three to one. Three to one. Oh, we got to come back here, Matt. You got two more here. Oh, geez. It's a little known fact that Jacob runs the control board one handed while one hand is on the knobs and dials and the other hand is busy using a finger to clean out his blank. Ninja. <laughs> uh, finger to clean out his. Uh, I think you might have been around it the other time. His belly button. That's that's where, I was, belly that's where my mind go goes. With? But I I'm mean, gonna he... go with uh, his uh, urethra with a flared base. Oh, All right. flared All base right. urethra. Let's see. Uh, the first one here from uh, for your soft serve. His sounding hole. Oh, there it is. I Boom. believe that's a urethra with a flared base. <laughs> you got it. Well done, Matt. Well done. <laughs> Scoop Dick Mound. Says his duck drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Johnny Australia says his robe pockets. No, those uh, don't get cleaned. Uh, <laughs> oh, I need to bust out the robe for the Twitch audience. Yes. Oh, yeah. Scooper Nova Girl says belly button. Oh, yeah. Oh, There's shit. his belly button. Yes. That's all right. all right. You still got one. Paper uh, Street Co Scoop Company says whatever Paul spills or drops stuff on. All right. That, that's uh, accurate. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Slaking Fool says, oh, Matt. Slaking Fool says belly button as well. Oh, oh. man. What the hell? Oh. You I told you you had it. I, I went ninja because I just thought ninja would be funny, but belly button. Yeah. All right. So uh, it's three to two. Yep. And we got one question left here. Anybody's game. Wait, you don't get the points for belly button? No. No, I he didn't get belly button. I said ninja. Oh. He was suggesting you say belly button. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, then I'm fine with it. I like that I got your urethra. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. You got a point. Yeah. Patreon experiences technical problems, and the guys don't get their donations for a month. To make ends meet. Well, the podcast <laughs> is over. <laughs> <laughs> to make ends meet, Matt goes to a senior center to see if he can get a job blanking for senior citizens. Matt, this is you first this time. You need at least two points. Oh, man. I mean, I would say doing lame improv. <laughs> <laughs> think doing improv doing improv is matt's answer paul um i'll go chewing <laughs> all right let's see here we're gonna start we're gonna start with mrs johnny australia <laughs> he's eating he's chewing their food writing jokes is mrs johnny australia writing mm -hmm. jokes mm -hmm. uh paper street scoop company says puppeteering his penis puppeteering oh. his penis small show Froyo Soft Serve says modeling adult diapers. Oh, I wish. Scoop, is that a job? <laughs> it is now. I'm in. Scoop Dick Mound says serving drinks drinks on the beach. All right. Okay. Okay. Scooper Nova Girl says masturbating. Masturbating. Wait, masturbating. And then there wait. are two jobs here that we did not know about. No, am I so am I just going to jerk off myself and the old people will watch? Right. Do no, I, I think you were jerking off old people. Jerking off old people. And Maybe paid. a little column A, a little column B. In that case, I don't. the term master would be right. incorrect. <laughs> and Slaking Fool says lap dancing. Lap uh, dancing. Lap dancing. That's a big whiff. No, oh, I missed it. I'm afraid so. Uh, that's a win in the first ever scoop game for uh, Paul Mattingly. Paul Yay. Mattingly, everybody. Well done, Paul Mattingly. Thank you, I... Thank you, eye and gross uh, eye th grossness. <laughs> and thanks to Pete Gelato for uh, putting all that together for us. Really Good cool, job. Pete Gelato. Good stuff. Yeah, that we'll is have to, so uh, great. We'll have to bring that to the uh, scooperty. To uh, <laughs> it was a good story, Paul. Wake up, Paul. <laughs> oh God, I really didn't get any sleep. Uh, Scoop fest. Yes, Jesus. September 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Coming out to beautiful Las Vegas. That's right. Stay at the Orleans Hotel with a discount code of... A7ICC09. Make sure you do that soon because that discount code is going to expire coming up here in August. And attend three nights, two days of a fine, fun fest called Scoop Fest where we will have uh, variety shows, comedy shows, live podcasts, uh, game room, food trucks, uh, regret fest, and of course, Paul... Karaoke. That's Thank right. You. Uh, so Which out. means empty orchestra. <laughs> coming out to, uh, to Scoop Fest. Uh, you can go to get tickets right now at heyscoops.com slash shop. There. 
Uh, all the payment plans, I think, are done. We're too close. I think so, yeah. So just got to buy tickets straight up now. Uh, if you are thinking about coming, make sure you check the Orleans uh, Hotel Casino cancellation policy. But if you're even thinking about coming, make sure you get on there and uh, and go ahead and reserve that room. Because, like I say, those uh, that deal for our for the scoops, that will run out eventually uh, coming up here in August. I believe it goes away a month before um, the event. The event. So make sure you go ahead and get that room, even if you're just considering it, and then you can cancel it if you end up not being able to make it. You got a month to do it, guys. Yeah. Get on it. Make it happen. You got more than a month, but a month beep, to beep, get, the, beep, beep. get the hotel thing. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. Please come. We want um, everybody to come out and have a good time. All right. Uh, I want to, of course, uh, thank anybody uh, who's watching us on twitch.tv slash Scoops. Thank you so much. That's right. If you go to twitchprime.com, you can link your Twitch and Prime accounts, and you can give us uh, uh, and click on subscribe for five bucks a month. We get a portion of that. So people are asking me if you don't have a Prime account, uh, should you still do it? Well, the answer is kind of. I mean, like, yes, because we still get a portion of it, but then you're actually spending your money. Yeah. In which case, if you came over to Patreon, we get a much larger percentage of that money, right? Um, we get we keep ninety percent of our Patreon donations, mm-hmm. uh, and we keep about fifty percent of our, our uh, Twitch subscriptions. There you now, go. if you tip on Twitch, we get all that. If you cheer on Twitch, we get all that. Yeah. Um, so that's just it's just complicated. Just letting you know. Uh, but if you have Pri- Amazon Prime, you can just give us money for free. Yeah. You just go to twitchprime.com, link your accounts, and then we get money, and you don't have to spend any. Um, and something you have to redo every month, which means the word subscription is not correct. Not exactly the right word. <laughs> so we get that. Yeah. It's a month-long subscription. It should be like bump. Yep. Uh, and uh, if you listen to this on Wednesday, don't forget to check us out. We're doing the Bucket Show live every Wednesday at 2 p.m. from Polaris Studios on the set of Penn & Teller's Bullshit as we creep, keep the BS tradition rolling forward. Come check it out. We had a great run-through last week, and we're excited to kick off our first official show here July 5th. Um, and you can go back and watch all of our replays. All of our replays are now archived for you to see. And then, uh, let's see. Um, what else? Uh, I want to thank our audio mafia, our visual mafia, our social media mafia, all the people who uh, keep this show going. Um, if you're a listener subscriber, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. If you want to support us in some way, you can go to patreon.com slash hayscoops or hayscoops.com slash Patreon. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, all kinds of cool tiers. We just spent the first two hours of the day putting together uh, sticker envelopes. So everybody's getting their stickers yep. uh, for the month, uh, this month. Um, we might even mail them out. Yeah, that's we're just an, we're on fire. That's the next step. We're on fire. Or I might just keep a whole lot of sealed envelopes. So mm. anywhere from a dollar to fifty dollars to a, actually like nine hundred and sixty dollars. You yeah. can. There's all kinds of different tiers for you to uh, to join us there. Um, and uh, we've got all kinds of fun rewards going on there. Uh, and then what else? I want to thank Penn Gillette for creating this podcast. And then we haven't got our things yet for the month. So, we, but that's all I got for thank yous, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. What the yeah. fuck do you want from me? I'm just looking at my notes <laughs> to make sure I've forgotten anything. Thank you all. Um, Keep listening. <laughs> Keep oh. using the the Yabla scheme. Tell one person. There's been a call for for bumper stickers. Mm-hmm. There has uh, been. And uh, if you have good bumper stickers idea, let us know. Uh, we'll also try to come up with some on our own. And uh, some people have already sent us some. We're yeah, working on fantastic. It. We have we have idea. some ideas that I haven't told you guys about. Uh, by we, I mean the collective. We. I have an idea. Yeah. What's that? Stink finger. Stink finger doesn't ever does anything. Doesn't just says stink that's finger. just that's just your idea in general. My idea is always stink finger. <laughs> uh, one of the ideas could possibly be uh, rough Barkington for president. Oh, oh that would be a That'd really be a good, good one. That's a good bump for yeah. sticker. We should do rough Barkington for president. That's yeah. that's perfect. Yeah, we need that. Um, all right. Well, we'll think on that while we come back to you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Scoops is Good Food 75. Just subscribed on Twitch Prime. Nice. Nice. Oh. Reverend Dr. Commander Big Scoop wants a pink eye bumper sticker. Oh, God. That what? sounds horrible. A pink eye bumper sticker. Ugh. Uh, we do need to do a song right here, okay, and this is going to nice. be for uh, for Jake Schneider. This is one that I missed last month, so we're gonna we're gonna pick one up right here. Okay. Uh, this is all about diarrhea. Uh, diarrhea. Diarrhea. 
I said it again. <laughs> Diarina, cha cha cha. Diarina. Hi, cha-cha-cha. it's me, Diarina. <laughs> yes. Uh, diarrhea from eating too many blueberries. I'm a very fluid dancer. Oh, look at you, Diarina. All right. Let's see here. Uh, so I need some music here. Uh, this is where the the Twitch audience gets to see the sausage get made because right. this part will not go on the show. They get to watch me search for some music. Fiddle around. How about uh, Blueberry Hill? No, nah, I've already got one. He, he requested a he requested a song. To, oh, he requested uh, music a style? type here. Yeah. Okay, great. Fire me up something, then whatever it might be. Yeah, here you go. Diarita, cha cha cha, diarita. Diet margaritas? Yes. How much would you pay for this diet margarita? <laughs> oh man, I'm getting slammed drinking diaritas. <laughs> <laughs> Diet readers, cha cha cha. Diet readers. <laughs> oh, my butt's so sore from all these diaritas. Uh, I want to thank Callison Score. Makes you want to scoop. Cargo Van Killa. Uh, uh, Callison Sore. Gas Man Scoop. Loch Ness Monster. Paul Gruner. Makes you want to scoop. Scoop of Karma. Who else is on here? Chipanda. Oh, Japan. The Scoop Japan John B. Man. Reverend Dr. Commander McScoop. You ready, Jacob? I'm ready. All right. All right, here we go. Who else is on here? Chapanda. Oh, Japan. The Scoop Japan. John. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, what I can't. Doing? I just realized that I can't do that. <laughs> oh, how do I do this? Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, I hadn't I hadn't thought about this because I've got sound coming from... Um... We've ruined everything. Yeah. See, oh, yeah. Yes. I haven't had to deal with this before. Mute it. Hi, Scoop. How do I mute it? Mute that feed. Oh, there feed. it is. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. There mute go. that feed. All right. Mute that feed, fool. So now I'm muted over there. Let's see. The other one should work. Yeah. Trying again. Anything going on? I don't know on? if I know this Good. song. That's fine. All right. Do your best. I will do. Solid at all, oh no They're coming out like a crazy torrent of a faucet that somebody turned on Blueberry diarrhea Blueberry diarrhea Blueberry diarrhea I met a lady named Rita she was dire I ate too many blueberries And now they're running through me Like a freight train overloaded With a bunch of poop and blueberries It kinda looks like blueberry muffin mix If it was poop with blueberries in it I wonder if I could bake this diarrhea into a muffin I'm gonna go and try it I'm pooping in the cake pan now Cooking my poop My diarrhea full of blueberries I wonder if it'll turn into a cake This is probably a mistake My oven smells so bad From the blueberry dairy I had I should have used a bigger pan It ran over the sides And now there's nowhere for me to hide 
The blueberry diarrhea is baked into my oven forever! No! It's a stink that will live in infamy! No! No! Why did I put my poop in the oven? No! This is a bad idea! Everybody in the chat, you glad you stuck around for that? <laughs> that was good. I know I am. Yeah, that was a gem. No pressure, no diamonds, baby. <laughs> Switch, we'll see you in a minute. Uh, I need a